Okay, we got some sea water here in the glass, and I'm going to taste it. It's salty. The, this is going to be the demonstration of the vortex and how it will turn seawater into drinking water. There you'll see a stainless steel pressure and as cooker. As you can see, the coil is submerged in water inside the bucket. So there goes the seawater. This has been transported across the Cascades to eastern Washington. We'll have to go take a break because you know what they say. The watch pot never boils. All right, so then you'll want to attach the post filter that will help polish the taste of your water and remove any residual gases that might manage to get through. So we've got a tube at the end and so that you can direct it into a clean water receptacle. You'll see the adapter that we've made for the pressure cooker. It increases the flow rate and makes it really convenient to attach. Some completed coils that have been processed by cutting 316 stainless steel tubing and deburring and blowing out with compressed air any residual filing. They're capped and rolled with the caps on. Caps are removed, they're steam sterilized, and the caps are replaced. This is the Vortex. In probably 15 minutes or so, we've got water. This water's looking pretty clear after it's been condensed and distilled and filtered through the carbon filter, so let's see how it tastes. That's amazing. That tastes like it came out of my tap at home. Really. The Doesn't vortex it? rocks. <laughs>